hello my beautiful people welcome back to favorite tv i miss you guys so much so so much today is saturday afternoon and i'm making food then i remember i said oh some of my Sierra Leone subscribers have been asking me oh faith make a video of a goosey soup how you make up how you prepare your goosey soup so today as i was cooking i remember i said oh i'm going to make a goosey soup why not just i film it so i can share you guys my own recipe how i make my goosey soup for those of you that have tested my goosey soup they say oh it's so nice so nice so today i'm going to share with you all how i make my goosey soup i prepared the ingredients down already i'll be showing you one after the other if it's what you are going to watch, just keep on watching. And please don't forget to comment, like, share. If there is a way you do your own differently, leave it in the comment section. I can also learn from you. Thank you guys for being with me this far. Love you, love you, love you, love you all. Okay, enough for the introduction. Let me show you my my ingredients that i will be using today yeah you stay there so see my oil already is getting hot in the pot my red oil i have my tomatoes here blend because i like to add tomatoes to my goosey i have my goosey soup here already blended my meat over there is my meat I've boiled it. I have my beef, my pomo, all my bogbo tigbo that I'll be using to make it. I have washed my leaf. I'm using dry leaf. I'm using dry punky and scent leaf. I have my fish, all my type of fish. Oh, I love fish. I cannot cook without fish. So let's start the cooking by frying my tomatoes. my tomatoes I'll cover it to cook and dry water normally if I have my stew like my tomato stew I fried already I just take from it and use it but today I don't have my stew that I have is frozen see the freezer I don't need anything with stew this weekend so that is why i did not bring it out so i'm just using my fresh tomatoes while the tomatoes is cooking i will be slicing my onions this is the half onion that i i use to boil the meat so the rest i'm going to slice i will show you how i mix my missing So I have cut my onions, how do I do it? I pour it inside my blended egg juice. While the tomatoes is cooking, I pour water in my goosey, not much, just to wet it and make it like a paste. See my goosey? mist see like a paste see see the consistency that i use so anytime i fry my tomato stew i always have excess oil i put it in the freezer freeze it if they are making spinach soup a goosey soup 
or frying another tomato stew i just add it to it that's why i didn't put too much uh, red oil palm oil then i'm adding this to my stew to my tomatoes that is frying and i'm seasoning my tomatoes with one seasoning cube because i used one and a half to boil the meat so i'm using this to season the tomatoes because i just blend fresh tomatoes that is why it's a bit watery and it takes longer if it is tomatoes that have already boiled down before or the stew that i've made down before the process is very easy it, it goes fast but because this is just a fresh tomato that i blend I have to leave it to really cook well so it can relieve that sour taste and dry it up before frying my ibusi in it. Hope you understand me, my people. I promise you guys this time, no more slacking, no more slacking. There is a lot of content coming up. You know this channel is a family channel so it's not all about cooking and cooking totally how to run your home as a wife as a mother even as a father how you can assist your family your wife your children because but you know be firewood sometimes we the wife we are also tired we need your assistance so if you are a man watching this video or you are a husband a father learn to assist your wife if you don't know how i would ask mr Brill to teach you love you guys and keep on watching don't forget to click the like button comment share and if you haven't subscribed and you are seeing my face for the very first time please hit that subscribe button for your girl i need it eh, to encourage me to do more to create more content eh? so now that our tomatoes are fried it's time for us to add our juicy to it let me show you for you to know it's already see it's dry down Commenting that fried good one. That's how I cut it inside. See how I put my egusi. So when you do it like this, you have to lower your gas so it don't start burning immediately some of you may be saying oh she didn't show when she boiled the meat and this almost all my cooking i always go through the process how i season my meat and all that but in case you still want to know how i boil the meat i use my maggi which is the color what do they call it my seasoning cube i use ginger garlic and black uh, pepper with salt that's an onions that is how you see the onions that i cut to put in my on my egusi half of the onions i used to boil the to season the meat and everything so i didn't really think it's necessary to show that process whenever you want to make yours season your meat how you so desire if you want to season it with curry, with thyme, with paprika, with anything, you can season with it. But with soup, I always like to keep it, the taste so plain, so simple. I don't want to add curry and all those. The only way curry can get into my juicy soup, maybe I'm using tomato stew that I've already finished preparing. I just want to do fat. I just take from the stew, put in the pot, put oil to fry it. That's the only way you can taste a bit of curry inside. Aside that, no, no curry for African soup. Don't worry, just it tastes nice. So you have to always wash your egusi and stir. 
when you are stirring don't stir it so hard because we need that runs like it gather i don't like when a goosey you cook it is so plain like that i don't like my goosey you see the way it's looking that is how i like my goosey see it'll be looking like this okay our goosey are fried very well like this if you fry your goosey like this you will not purge. Some people will say when they eat a goosey, they use it will purge them. But believe me, when you fry your goosey like this, it will not purge. Let me show you the result. See the goosey? See? It has finished frying. So this is the time. I add my leaf because it's dry leaf. It's just my dry leaf I soak in the water and wash. But if you are using fresh vegetables like fresh spinach, you add it at the end of the cooking. Not now, but because I'm using dry one, dry leaves, that's why I'm adding it now. So now I add my leaf. Bring it inside the pot. I'm bringing my meat and the meat stock and my fish. Everything I'm bringing to the pot. See my dry fish, my mackerel, my burger. Choose your meats. So now, normally I add crayfish to it, blended crayfish. This one, I blend it, I add it. But this particular goosey soup, I'm skipping it. I'm not adding because I have a special person that wants to eat this food. And the person is allergic to crayfish. So don't say, oh, she didn't put crayfish in her goosey soup. And then I have other fish inside the soup, but I'm skipping crayfish because I don't want to feed somebody sweet, nice food. And at the end of the day, the person has problem. Huh? Since I cannot put it in the soup, let me twist some and keep my crayfish. So, if you want to make yours, feel free to add crayfish, dry crayfish, blend it and add it. If you want to add chicken to your own, you can add. If you want to add goat meat, you can add. But mine, I'm using smoked turkey, fish, beef, momo, and shaki. That is what I'm using for my goosey super. If you live nearby and you know Faith Brain, you are welcome to come and test. Huh? Don't come when the soup is already finished. Come on time. And I will also upload the video on time. See our soup? It's ready. Just turn your soup. Our right, this soup is ready. Time to work from the year. See yummy a goosey soup. Time to off the gas. If you were using fresh spinazzi to cook or your fresh punky, I just say two minutes before the end like this before you put your vegetable. But since we are using dry leaf, I put it so before this time it gets soft so this is a goosey because i already boiled my meat down the cooking process took 45 minutes because also the tomatoes needed time to cook very well so there is no way you eat this kind of a goosey and you get purged never 
see my goosey soup our goosey soup is ready ready to eat ready to work come and join me do you live close by thank you guys for watching i will see you in my next video learn to cook it's more healthy when you cook you know what your kids are eating what you are putting in your family's stomach you can buy sometimes outside but the one you cook at home let it overshadow your eating outside it will also help you to save change you eat good and you save some change take care love you guys mm -hmm. bye bye